Do you have a Unify network and you're looking for something to prevent users such as kids from accessing adult websites? Stay tuned, in this video I show you how to set up a simple free to use solution. So welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. So in this video I'm going to show you a basic web filtering solution I set up at home to prevent my kids from accessing adult websites. So for this to work, you need to have a Unify access point and you need to have a USG. Those are the two main devices that you need to have. I also have a Unify switch, but that's totally optional. You really just need this, the USG as well as the access point. So first we're gonna go to settings, and then we go to network. And here you see a list of the current networks that I have. You wanna click add new network and here we need to give the network a name. So I'm just gonna name it Kid Zone. Next, we're gonna go to the advanced setting of the network. Right here, by default, it automatically sets a VLAN for you. However, I like to be in control of my VLAN naming convention. So I'm gonna put this as VLAN 30. Right, and we're gonna scroll down a bit again. And here we'll see we have the network, right? So by default, it all also sets up a network for you. However, because of my OCD, I like the third octet to be the same as the VLAN. So I'm going to set that to 30. And once I click auto config, it would give me the valid range for my network. So if we scroll down a bit, we're looking for the option that says DHCP server. And we're going to change this to manual. Here we now need to input two DNS server addresses. So by default, your USG would use your ISP DNS servers to resolve websites. So to find out how DNS works, you can click this video right here where I explain exactly how DNS works. So what we want to do, we want to use some custom DNS servers which would provide the filtering options for us. So we're going to search for open DNS, select the first option. OpenDNS is provided by Cisco and as we all know Cisco makes some good stuff, right? So what we want to do is we want to scroll down and they have both enterprise and consumer plans. So we want to choose the consumer plan. So we're just going to select learn more. And under the consumer plans, there are four different plans, right? So there are two free plans as well as there are two paid plans. We're going to use this first one that says OpenDNS Family Shield. Right, in an up and coming video, I'll show you how to use this other one that says Open DNS Home. This has some more customizations where we can manually block and allow websites. So, if you're interested in seeing that video, be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. However, for this video, we'll be using the Open DNS Family Shield option. So, to get started, we click on Setup Guide. And here they provide a bunch of tutorials to show you how to set it up on various devices. Since we're using the Unify range of devices, our USG, all we really need to do is copy and paste the actual DNS servers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here for my first DNS server. And I'm going to copy the second one. And I'm going to go back here now and paste this here as well. So once I've, or once I've completed added those two DNS servers, I want to, basically I think we are good here, so I'm going to add network. So as we could see, the network was successfully added. Get zone. Right, so next what we need to do, we need to go over to the Wi-Fi tab. So what we want to do is click on the add new Wi-Fi network. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to name this kid zone as well. And you want to create a WPA password for your network here under the tab that says LAN, this is a very important part. You want to click the drop down arrow and you want to select Kid Zone. So this would put any users who connects to this wireless network on the specific network that has the content filter in enabled. Alright, uh, next what we want to do, we want to do a bonus step here. Here we want to actually set up a schedule where they will have access to the wireless network. Right, so to do that, we click on advance and we go all the way down to Wi-Fi scheduler. And you can select any box you choose to. And once we select the box, 
I'm gonna name it kid zone as well you could name it whatever you like right and here I'm gonna choose appropriate time when I want my kids to have access to this network right so I'm gonna select 1 p.m. I think right so I'm gonna select 1 p.m. and I think three hours should be more than sufficient for them right so I'm gonna select 4 p.m. right and once I have that selected I have the option where I could repeat it for different days of the week so I'm gonna repeat this um, for all the days of the week this you could is, could choose it based on your your settings once you do that you click Save and here we can see it's populated for the entire week kid zone for one for access to the internet from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. so I'm going to click on add Wi-Fi network and we can see the Wi-Fi network has been successfully added so what I want to do next is I want to actually test this so I'm connected to Vikings so what would happen the AP would actually reboot so we give it maybe a minute to apply the settings and when once it comes back up we should see the kids zone SSID so here we could see the kids zone Wi-Fi network is now up I'm gonna select connect and then to enter my password click next like yes all right so we're connected to the kids zones network so let me just do a quick test now so let's just type in something like porn for example and if it all is working as it should I should not be able to access any of these pornographic websites having some form of web filtering is so important nowadays especially when you have kids who are doing school remotely etc so now here are some of the website results so if I click on this as you can see it blocked the page if I click advance and proceed I'm gonna get the error the site is blocked due to content filtering right so it's working right so let's try another site just to be sure again and yeah so the site is blocked as well too so yeah guys this is how you could set up some basic web filtering on your unify network in the next video as i told you i'm going to show you how to manually block and allow certain websites so be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification bell if that's something you would want to see all right guys so that brings us to the end of this video thanks once more for viewing see you soon take care